Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. I want to do a brief discussion about vitamin D3. Uh, D3 is uh, all over the news, it's all the rage, it's getting a lot of attention, and amazingly, rightly so. Uh, most of the time I start one of these videos like that, and then I have to go into uh, basically breaking the supplement down and pointing out to people that the, the data sucks. Uh, that it's all marketing? Well, amazingly so, this is not the case with D3. D3 uh, is legit. And the reasoning for D3, that is, it is very common for people to be uh, insufficient. Notice I didn't say deficient. There's a difference between insufficiency and deficiency. Uh, but being low in vitamin D3 is actually very common. It's even been found to be common in places with uh, a fair amount of sunshine, which would be unexpected. Uh, you can find some really in-depth information on Brinkzone on D3 now. I have a radio show that I just did with Dr. Lopez, who was an expert on D3, if, so you want to get all the details on D3. An article just went up by Monica Malika, again, explaining D3, explaining how to get the proper doses, uh, explaining the importance of blood work. One of the issues of D3 is you really need to know where your blood work is to decide on your dose. You, just randomly throwing it without knowing your actual blood levels is definitely not an optimal way to use D3. Uh, however, the reality is you're more likely uh, to get a positive effect than negative. The uh, worries uh, over uh, toxicity of higher doses of D3 uh, are clearly uh, overstated. And that goes back to some really old school nutrition advice, which was uh, fat soluble vitamins in higher doses are, are toxic. And like most things, that was an overly simplistic uh, assumption. Some fat-soluble vitamins are definitely potentially toxic in high enough doses for long enough periods of time. Uh, there's been some pretty high doses of D3 for long periods of time not showing toxicity. Again, that's not a, uh, a, a reason to, uh, to skip blood work, to just willy-nilly uh, throw in high doses of D3, but the reality is the likelihood of your being uh, insufficient uh, levels of D3, serum D3, uh, via 25-OHD test is very likely and the potential for doing you any harm not real high. Uh, however, there are very individualistic responses to D2 because some people apparently seem to metabolize it differently than others, and that's a discussion you can get on the radio show with Dr. Lopez. It doesn't seem to be an absorption issue. It appears to be more of a metabolism issue. Some people uh, have a much higher rate of turnover and use of vitamin D than others. And the point to that being, some people can take 1,000 IUs and get to exactly where they need to be, some people may need doses as high as 10,000 up. Uh, my own dermatologist, as a matter of fact, I was taking 1,000 IUs and uh, I said, have you had your blood tested? He said, no, he did. He called me up, it was not good. And it actually took him 10,000 IUs to get himself even to the mid-level of 25-OHE. That wasn't even getting to the high levels. Uh, for myself, it took about 5,000 IUs to get me to about 50 uh, nanograms per, I believe, ml. But we'll have to look that one up, sorry if, uh, uh, that's an incorrect, yeah, I think it's ML, might be DL, but don't worry about it. At least until you go read the article on the Brink Zone to get your own numbers. So that's the basic scoop on vitamin D3. I'm not going to go into great details about its benefits. It actually looks very wide-ranging benefits on immune system. Uh, testosterone levels, if you're deficient, remember, if you go past deficiency, you're not going to get magic testosterone levels similar to zinc, similar to magnesium. But if you are deficient in D3, which is, like I say, not uncommon, uh, bringing your D levels up can boost your testosterone levels. And again, there are effects on a mood, there are effects on immunity, there are effects on cancer, there are effects on heart disease, there are effects on glucose tolerance. It is actually one of the few uh, really uh, thumbs up uh, supplements from me and actually more difficult than one might uh, believe to get from their diet, to get from adequate sunshine and so on. So check out the Brink Zone for that and I hope this info helps. If it does, please help the uh, hit, sorry. Hit the like buttons, check me out on Twitter, Facebook, and all that, and I'll see you all in the gym.